So I want to introduce a, a, a great gentleman that we really came close during COVID without seeing each other. Imagine that. Um, so during COVID, we've been doing a, a, a weekly networking group called Cafecito, which is a Spanish word for coffee, just meeting up for coffee. But Juan Velasco from Scale My Profit stepped up and he's been hosting us every Tuesday since March without fail. We've been having a free networking group without any sales, any hustles. Carlos, can you mute yourself? I think that was that sound came from. So if everybody can mute themselves, that's where we get the feedback coming out. So Juan Velasco is with Scale My Profit and he's our first pillar. So we have four pillars of conversations. And again, these are individuals from different chambers and different business groups all around North County. And again, big shout out again to all our chambers that we have from Escondido Chamber, Poway Chamber, and across to the coastal chambers too. So thank you very much for all that. And if you want to join a chamber, if you go to our website, there's business, there's a list of every business association. You know, there's over 30 different business groups, chambers, associations, and visit centers in North County. And on our website, we have a list of all those. So without further ado, I want to introduce everybody to Juan Velasco, our first pillar of finances. Hi, everybody. Uh, can you all hear me? Yes. Sound yeah. check. Everything's good. Yeah, sounds good. Yes, we right. hear you. Perfect. I'm going to share my screen that we get started. I want to respect everybody's time. I know we got some amazing people um, here. Uh, Holby, uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yeah, see my screen. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Perfect. All right. So here we go. Um, so I'm going to make this presentation a little bit bigger. Let's see. Let's present real quick. Here we go. All right. Okay, so I'm super excited to be here today. It's, it's an honor and a privilege to have all of you uh, here um, and for me to be here as well. I, I feel very blessed among some great speakers today. So my, what I want to share with you today is really how to unlock the hidden exponential growth in your business, right? Because we all love what we do. We all know that what we have to share, like with the world or with our prospects, you know, like if we can just untap it and grow it substantial, we can impact more people, right? Because that's really what this um, whole expo is about building relationships and about positive impact. Um, so I'm not going to share too much about myself because it's all about you right now. So I'm going to go into it um, right away. Um, so I love this quote for you that know or don't know uh, who this gentleman is. Um, he's a $50 billion man, right? Warren Buffett. And when he speaks, I kind of listen, you know. Um, so uh, uh, I love this quote. Accounting is a language of business. And if you can't speak the language, it's difficult to win the game. And yes, um, business is a game. And the game is a game on numbers, right? So I'm going to share with you a couple of things that's going to make that much more easier for you. Um, so today's game plan, I got 15 minutes to go through a lot of information um, and I will share the slides uh, with David so uh, he can give them out as well. But I want to share with you the three financial keys to your business. I don't know about you, but I talk to a lot of business owners and they get kind of stressed and confused, especially this time of year when they're preparing their financials, right? Uh, but I'm going to make it real easy for you how to read your financial statements, um, which it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I'll make it really simple. And another uh, tip that I'm going to give you is how to attract all the leads that you can handle. Because at the end of the day, it's really about, um, you know, the, you know, how can you get more leads? But it's also as a hot button, right? There's more competition. Now. I'm going to make it really easy for you as well. And then ideally, I'm going to show you how to have exponential growth in your business. Because I've seen, and you probably know, there's some businesses out there that can generate revenue, but not profits, right? So it's really important to be able to generate profits. So let's dig in a little bit. I always like to open up with this, the 80-20 rule. You all probably have, have heard of it, and it applies to a lot of parts of our business, right? And it really means that 20% of our effort produces 80% of our results, right? Now, what does this mean for your business? It actually means that 20% of what you do every single day is generating 80% of your total annual revenue. Now, if I break it down a little bit more, it says that you're doing only a few things daily that actually makes the most of your money. Now, how nice would it be if you knew what that 20% was, right? I mean, it's going to free up like 80% of that load that you're doing on day and you're going to be a lot more efficient. Well, that's what I'm going to share with you today. The 20% that's really going to move that dial in your business. So let's dig in a little bit more. Ideally, we all want results in our business, right? So I like to use this profit growth calculator. This is actually um, what I like to use to show exponential growth, which I'm going to dig in a little bit. So this, I'm going to show you a baseline, just a standard business, could be anything, right? 
but a business that's generating about thousand leads a month and they're getting about 250 sales a year. And then they're doing about 10, trans 10 transactions per customer. So their revenue is about $250,000, right? So the gross profit percentage is 25. So this business is making about 62,500 a month, just a standard baseline, right? So what happens if we increase these five areas by 10%, right? So you see, so what I want you to look at is that revenue. That revenue went from 250 all the way to $366,000. Now, the gross profits, it went from a five-figure business all the way to 100,000. Now, what does this mean? That just a 10% increase in each of these five areas in your business produces a 62% profit growth, right? Now, what about if we take it to the next level? Let's go to 50%, right? So 50% just in these five areas, that this business actually goes from 62,500 all the way to 474,000. So really what this really shows you is that small incremental changes across these five areas produces exponential growth. For this business, actually, it's 760% it's uh, growth, right? So what, what does this mean for your business is that you always want to look at applying incremental growth across these five areas. Now, this really shows you that you can really financially transform your business, right? Now, one thing is that you're probably thinking 50% is crazy one. How can I actually increase 50%? I'm going to show you a couple of strategies in a second. But what I really want you to know is that you can apply this same strategy to create cash flow. Because again, cash is king in the business, right? So let's dig in a little bit more on how to actually create uh, um, cash. Now, this is the big one, like the drum roll. Business owners always ask me, like, how do I manage my finances? There, there's only three keys that you have to worry about, and that's it. So if you like the business owners that I work with, when I start working with them, when we start talking about the financials, this is how they look, right? They put their head down. It's anxiety. It's so many numbers. It's confusing. I'm actually going to remove some of that today because I'm going to make it real easy. So this is the profit and loss statement, right? This is one of the most essentially important documents in your business. Now, we're, we're going to break it down here pretty simple. So you got revenue, cost of goods sold is variable cost. Uh, your gross profit covers your overhead, which is your fixed expenses, um, and then your fixed expenses, and then your net profit, right? So this is just kind of just a standard template. Let's put some numbers into it because I really want to show you how you can really financially transform your business. So let's go just put some numbers on the board, right? So this is just a standard. So the net profit, they're making about $60,000. It's about 20%. Total revenue is 300,000. Now, when I start talking to businesses, they're always like, man, you know, where do I start? How do I manage my finances? The good thing is that there's only three numbers you need to focus on. And that's it. From now on, all you need to do is focus on these three parts of your financial statements is your revenue, your cost of goods sold, which that is the cost of doing business. And then your overhead is your fixed cost, right? Now you might be, might be asking why, like, why should I just focus on these three? Well, these are the only numbers that you can directly impact and all the other numbers on your business rely 100% on these three. So if you just focus on these three, you're gonna have tremendous impact on your business, but let's put it into action, right? So let's take the first one. So let's say we increase the revenue by just 5%, that's it. So we're going from 300 to 315,000, right? So um, our uh, cost of goods sold stays the same. Our gross profit changes, because again, it's just a difference between those two numbers. Our gross profit percentage increases a little bit. Overhead, we're still paying the same insurance, the same rent, right? Our net profit goes to 75,000. Now, what does this mean? With a 5% increase in revenue, you got $15,000 more in profit, right? So let's dig in a little bit more. Let's go to the cost of goods sold. Again, that's the cost of doing business. So let's lower it by just 5%. That's it. So again, revenue is the same. So we're going to lower our cost of doing business to 171. Uh, your gross profit increases, right? Gross profit goes to 43%. The same overhead because you're still paying the same insurance and rent. Net profit goes to 69. What does this mean? By reducing our cost by 5%, you got another $9,000 of cash in your pocket, right? We didn't do anything. We didn't do any marketing. We didn't spend any money at all. So let's go a little bit deeper. 
let's lower our overhead, which is again, it's our fixed cost, right? Our rent, our insurance, everything else stays the same. So now our overhead goes from 60 to 57,000. And then our net profit goes to 63. Again, we don't do anything else, but to just focus, lower it by 5% and you get $3,000 of extra money in your pocket. Now, what does this mean? If we just impact these three areas and we focus on them while building our business and we just impact them by 5%, that's 45% growth in profit. So if you just focus on these three and just make small, minute changes, we're not talking about huge, enormous changes in your business, just small, you can see your business really financially transform. Now, the next topic that I want to touch base is how to attract the leads. Because you're right, all right, one, so you show me like, like on the financials, right? Where should I focus? How do I get more customers? Well, I'm gonna make that super easy to you, uh, for you right now. See, so there's a secret, right? So there's a secret formula on how to dominate your market. And I'm gonna share it with you here today. This is what everybody doesn't wanna share with, uh, with you to generate all the leads, right? Now, the secret to generating more leads is in to enter the conversation that's occurring in your prospect's mind. You're right, okay, Juan, I'm not a hypnotist and I'm not a mind reader. How the heck do I do that? The easy part, there's only two things going on in your prospect's mind. They have a problem that they have and they don't want. And then there's a result that they want and don't have. And that's it. If you focus on these two things across your messaging, you're going to be able to generate and communicate with your prospect by delivering your product. Now, there is a formula that I like to share that makes this even easier, right? So this is like my secret weapon when I want to generate leads for my customers. So you want to interrupt. The very first thing you want to do is you want to look at the way you communicate and you always want to interrupt. And what that is, is that you got to state the problem that your prospect has and that they don't want, right? Second step is you engage. So now that you kind of stop them and you snap them out of their uh, um, kind of hypnotic because they're hypnotized, right, with their daily occurrences, is you want to engage with them. So now you want to address the result that they want but don't have. Then the third one is a key. That's to educate. Now that you got their attention, you really want to be able to, you know, um, really communicate with them and tell them why you are different from your competitors, right? This is why you're telling them why they should do work with you, right? And then the very last one, which I usually always see is the first one is your offer. Your offer has to be something so compelling, so irresistible that it's almost like it, it, it makes them an idiot of not doing business with you, right? So it, it also has to be a low threshold. It has to be something that they're able, you're able to communicate and they just want to do work with you, right? So let's take a look at this as uh, with a case study. Uh, this is a cosmetic surgeon down in Florida. So they were having about 35 leads. Um, they were running on Facebook, spending about three grand. This was his ad, nothing spectacular, right? Now, learning what we just learned right now, if we enter the conversation that's taking place of that prospect, this is what you take. So you find out specifically who your target market is, right? And then we apply that conversion equation. We change our messaging to enter that conversation that's happening in your prospect's mind. And this is the message that we came up with. And of course, then we put it uh, where, where their market is, right? Now, the cool thing with them, their results, they went from 300 to 500 leads per month. That's a 1,143% lead increase by, again, entering a conversation that's occurring in your prospect's mind. Now, this is another case study. is a chiropractor down in Texas. So they were having about three leads a month. Um, they're running in those little inserts you see like in that in your uh, newspapers you get in the weekend, about $2,000. So this is what it was. Nothing fantastic, right? So again, uh, we found out who their market was, which is really important. And then you adjust the messaging according to entering a conversation in a prospect's mind. If you're misdiagnosed, suffering needlessly, you communicate with us, right? So then again, we put it in the right media and these were his results, 137 leads in four days. Again, because you're entering um, that conversation that's occurring in your prospect's mind, you're addressing the problem and then giving them the solution that they want you can see really tremendous growth, exponential growth in your business. Now, write this down. The secret to generating more leads in any business is really these four key steps is that conversion equation. You interrupt, engage, educate, and offer. 
Now, the other part is how do we grow exponential profits and profit and profits in your business? Because remember, just because you are generating revenue doesn't mean profits. And, and I'm going to give you two options. The very first one, it's uh, it's pretty easy. It just increase your prices, right? Um, I always get this look when I tell it to business owners, you know, let's see if we can increase your prices and why most businesses have not increased their prices never. Right. Um, and they're deathly afraid of any price increase or cause customers to leave. Well, let's look into it though. Let's say if you're selling a price or service for hundred dollars, right. And if you decide to increase it by 10%, you know, will that really cause like people just to leave? Right. If they do, they're going to be the price shoppers, right? They really don't show no loyalty to you or your business. But even if they did, let's look at to what extent, right? So let's say you're making $10 extra, right? Which is all percent profit. Now, th this goes to the law of exponential growth. $10 extra is actually 33% profit increase. 10% increase in your price produces a 33% profit increase. That's, I mean, that's that just uh, shows you how, how fast you can grow now. Originally, um, they had to sell 33 products or services to make the thousand dollars, right? But by that, by that increasing it by 10%, now they just have to sell 25. That that means you're working less to actually make the same, right? So what does that mean? Is that you can actually lose 25% of your customers just over a measly 10% price increase, and that's really not going to happen. So again, you know, you always want to err on the side of a caution and test it. But really, there's no faster or easier way than just to increase uh, uh, revenue by increasing your pricing. Now, option two is really sell more stuff. Um, I want to respect your time here. So again, there's options like joint ventures. This, this expo is perfect for it. Make the connections. If you want to upsell, cross-sell, McDonald's is, uh, is, is uh, perfect for this, right? When you order that uh, Happy Meal or, or that meal, you know, what do they say? Do you want a biggie size, right? So you want to have an upsell and then also cross sell. So additional products to be able to increase more value. You also want to have a downsell within your product as well. Offer a lower priced offer. Also bundling removes price competition, right? Uh, do group packages, give more value than you can. And also uh, introduce additional products or services. Um, do affiliate programs. These are the, the real basic ways to be able to increase um, your price. Now, Hopefully uh, I was able to share and communicate that you can really transform your business just by making small changes. That's now, if you feel kind of like this young lady and I provide so much value that you kind of feel overwhelmed, just know that I'm, we're here and I'm here to help you after the expo. Um, so as a very uh, big gift, I want to share with you. I have this capability where I'm able to find any business $50,000 in 45 minutes without spending $1 in marketing or advertising. So if you want to see how these numbers or these strategies actually apply to your business, just go to findme50k.com and you'll be able to sign up and uh, you know, you'll be able to find about $50,000 in your business. Um, and this is a couple of the uh, local uh, uh, results we've been having. But again, it's been my pleasure and I hope you took some information. And again, let's make some more connections and make some joint ventures so you can uh, grow your business and help others out in this expo. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Juan. Someone stop sharing. There you go. There you go. Appreciate right. everybody. Thank you. And, and again, we got over 80 people on this call, and I appreciate Juan. Great information. Um, who wouldn't mind having a couple extra bucks or a couple thousand dollars into the business? I can use that right now. But uh, on that note, guess what? It's breakout room time. So my suggestion to everybody is, again, don't go out there and try to do a hard sale. Try to get to know somebody. Find out that why. What makes them do what they do. And again, we have over almost 90 people, what, 83 people, I think is what I see. So we're going to break everybody into five groups. I guess that's uh, to do my math. Well, <laughs> here we go. Breakout room time, guys. And uh